It's uh, about 9.15, perhaps 9.20. I'm standing directly in the intersection of Cedar Street and Broadway. There have been two moments of silence at 8.46 and at 9.02. At 8.46, before the moment of silence, there was a sound of bells echoing throughout the entire area in commemoration of the first plane crashing in. And then at 9.02, another moment of silence, and as you can probably hear in the background, I'm going to try to move a little bit closer. There is the members of the family calling out the names of those lost. It's once again really strange being here and listening to this. It's beyond emotional because obviously these aren't just a list of names of people. These are just a list of names of people that died suddenly, innocent of anything. As I look around this spot that I'm at, there are a lot of different groups, mostly patriotic Americans, a lot of people that are grieving, the family members that couldn't get close. I'm as close as I can get at this point. I have to continually walk back and forth because there is no standing still. But I also have to mention that without honoring people by naming the group they're with. There are several different groups of people protesting what's going on here today and it's absolutely shameful and this report is eyes that they'd be doing that. I'll be trying a little bit later for uh, a final report from this uh, commemoration. This is David D. Crescento at 9.20 from Trying to make my. Oh, 